Hello and welcome to Stateroom R307 on Riviera Deck, which is Deck 14, on Discovery Princess. In this video we're going to do a two-part review. First we'll show you around and give you our first impressions upon entering the room, and then we'll update you after six days in here and give you our opinion on the good and the bad, what works and what doesn't in this, the most standard, standard balcony cabin on Princess Cruise's newest ship. Getting into the room is as easy as it gets with Princess's medallion tech. Just walk up and your door handle goes green and in you go. No fumbling for room cards that have probably been demagnetized by your phone in the same pocket. We normally book mini suites on the Princess Royal class ships, so this room is much smaller at 222 square feet, including balcony, compared to 299 square feet. But how different is it? And the age old question is, does size matter? We'll leave a link to our mini suite review in the top right corner now and at the end so you can compare and contrast the two. There's a dizzying 35 different categories of accommodation on board to suit every budget and bed fans will be pleased to note that all of them feature the sumptuous princess luxury bed. You might not live like a lottery winner here in R307, but you'll definitely sleep like one. The bedside lights have these handy USB sockets built in and there are plenty of power options on the adjoining vanity unit. The vanity unit is small and as always the phone uses valuable desktop space. Thankfully the hairdryer is hidden and already powered up. Opposite this is another unit but with no power outlets at all which is frustrating. The fridge is a good size though and is very useful. Opposite the bed, on the wall, is the TV, and we won't go into the on-screen menu system in this review, but it is very good indeed. Quite a lot of room is taken up by the walk-in open closet opposite the bathroom. There's a huge amount of hanging space, shoe space and shelf space here, so in our view it's worth the sacrifice of the extra bedroom area. There's a closet here with lots of shelving and a small safe. The bathroom is, well on the snug side, but more about that later. Outside now and the balcony is on the small side and like your average reality TV star, lacks depth. But then this is typical of all Royal class balconies, except for the mini suite and above. On the plus side, there is two decent reclinable chairs and a table out here, which is very useful. Ok, so we've showed you around, but how did we get on living here for a week? If you want to know more, keep watching as we give you a live on the fly summary of our thoughts, including 5 issues you may wish to know about. Warning: The following scenes contain images of a distressful nature, which include sporadic overexposure, excessive destabilised handheld footage, haphazard focusing, excessive use of a bathrobe. We apologise that it's not up to the usual visit with us standard you have come to know and love. We thank you for your understanding. Hello and welcome to our one week recap of what it's like living with a standard balcony cabin on Discovery Princess or any other world class ship come to think of it. We're just leaving Mexico now as we're going to head back to Los Angeles. So what's it been like? A guy with a ton of camera equipment. Okay, let's start at the end here in the balcony. Uh, the balcony is quite narrow as you can see but the chairs are really nice. They recline and they're really quite nice and comfy and there's two of them. Um, sometimes you get on balconies and there's there's not two chairs. I don't know why. There's two chairs and a table which is really nice but I would say on all these Royal class ships the balcony is quite, it is quite narrow. Coming in doors and hello <laughs> as you can see I have uh, one of these supremely comfortable robes on. You can get them uh, by request on the medallion app. All you've got to do is ask for one to be delivered to your suite. They are free of charge. Really comfy. Oh yeah. Um, so you get two tabletops here. You get this one here, you get this one here. And um, as you can see what I normally have is camera equipment everywhere. But normally I have all my camera equipment and lenses and that out on a on the top there, and to be honest, hasn't given us too much problem. Um, it's a bit messy, but uh, over here is uh, obviously the place where you put your glad rags on and your face on in the morning. Again, it's messy because you have to utilise where the plug sockets are, and if you've got loads of stuff to plug in, you end up with things like that. And um, this is a really handy little charging station actually, it comes off one plug, 
and it's not loads of USB sockets in there. We use that all the time when we come away. Um, but I have to have a spare one for camera batteries as well, so I've always got a fully charged camera battery on the go. But apart from that, uh, the drawers, um, not, not much in there as you can see. You know, my pant drawer there, I'm not going to show you my pant drawer. Um, and there's the uh, yeah, just general stuff. The USB socket on the side of the lamp is really, really helpful. So uh, that gets used every night. Got some little shelves there. The fridge is always empty, which is great because who wants an actual mini bar you have to pay for? Um, you can always order bottles of water, uh, complimentary bottles of water. I'm a little bit disappointed that Princess is still using single-use plastic. They could have done something a little bit different. Sort of multi-use plastic jugs um, with water so that, you know, when you uh, order some more water they bring a full jug and take the other one away rather than all these plastic bottles. But, you know, they've solved the issue with the disposable cups at the International Cafe and they're using uh, biodegradable cups now instead of polystyrene which is a step in the right direction but there's still some work to do with the plastic bottles. As you can see we keep things fairly tidy here. Coming into the wardrobe area uh, we've only got probably half our stuff out. My only gripe about the wardrobe is that the light that um, lights up the wardrobe yeah. It's the same light that lights up the whole room. Yeah, you can't you can't just turn the wardrobe light off. You have to turn on all the lights or none of the lights. So that that's a bit that can be a little bit annoying because if you're getting up in the morning, for example, say you just want to put this on or a light on in here, you have to bring your phone. Now there's plenty of room for shoes and stuff. And our, our absolutely lovely stateroom attendant comes and actually tidies our shoes up, which is yeah, well beyond the, the I have kicked them on top I'm sorry but they're well well beyond the call of duty and um, in here there's more than enough space actually more than enough I mean, I'm, the, I'm like a really messy person and actually there's more than enough space at the top here I normally put stuff that you know if we're going for a swim or something I'll just chuck my jeans up there or shorts or whatever um, we keep keep some blankets up there um, snuffled them from up upstairs uh, because you never know where you're gonna need a blanket on the on the balcony and yeah, so that's that's that. Let's just move into the. The bed is super comfortable. The, the bed that? is lovely, really comfy. Uh, into the bathroom now, um, where you'd probably think we'd have most of the problem because it's a very small bathroom. Actually, the shower is a really, really good size, given the sense of the bathroom. Um, it's nice and powerful, and uh, uh, yeah, it is a really good size. Still got that dreaded shower curtain, but because it's a nice size the shower curtain doesn't attack you like shower curtains normally do i'm um, looking at you cunard with your tiny shower cubicles and as you can see everything seems to be okay the one thing we would say <laughs> about this bathroom is it's a major thing well it's not a major thing you know hashtag first world problems and all that but where the where the toilet roll is it's in a ridiculous place tucked under there it's the only place they could put a toilet roll but it's really really awkward under there and quite impractical but we'll go into that in any more detail just suffice to say there's the toilet major acrobatics needed to get to the toilet roll they would probably put, best put it where the tissues are because actually you're not allowed to flush tissues down the toilet so you can't just sort of conveniently reach across and get a tissue because we're not allowed to do that. But what we do like is these nice deep sinks. Really handy. And uh, yeah, that's the bathroom actually. So, I don't think there's anything else is there. That's a... Sorry? Oh, there's no reading lights, no. So you've either got to have these on or off. Well, they're quite soft, not too bad. Or you've got the overhead lights there. So, you know, you can't... There's no kind of... There's no little reading light. But again... Also, when it comes to the bathroom, there's no kind of night light in the bathroom, which is a something that is actually really quite handy. Uh, just an under-cabinet light would have been nice, but well, you can't have everything, can you? Mm -hmm. 
We've got to save some things for the big posh suites. For the category of room, actually, yes. Although there's no sort of seating area, there's no comfy seating, there's no uh, e even a chair here. So, you know, if you want to sit down, you have to sit on the bed. That's absolutely no problem at all, actually. The, uh, everything seems to work quite well, to be fair. But uh, as you can see, for all our stuff, for a week, absolutely, absolutely fine. Here endeth the tour of the room after one week. Is it workable? Yes. Is it fun to stay in? Absolutely. Does the telly work well? Yes, it does. It's a very good system, the medallion net. We like it. It's worked really well. And, um, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed our little recap of what the room is like. And you've watched our previous section of this video, which is coming into the room cold and just filming it. And thank you for watching. And we will see you all again soon. Goodbye.